Steve O got dead. Imagine that. Yeah, dude. My scariest, gnarliest shark encounters. Hiya! Yeah! The first time I ever swam with a shark, I actually got bitten. We were filming Jackass season one for MTV, and the idea was shark hugging. Chris and I got in the water, and you know, we pet some shark. We really humped him pretty good. And then out of nowhere, whop, it got me. Maybe it's a stretch to say it was out of nowhere, because if you look in slow motion, I clearly fucking fed my finger to that shark. And that bastard got me good. I mean, my finger was mangled. Before I even got out of the water, there was blood everywhere. Steve O got bit, imagine that. It really didn't take me long to be super psyched that I had been bitten by a shark. I don't know a lot of people who have been bitten by a shark. The medic wrapped it up and we went on to film the rest of the day. I had that bandage same day when I did street fishing. A few weeks later, I got a letter from MTV asking me to send them my hospital bills for the shark bite so that I could be reimbursed. And I was so proud to write them back, I never even went to the hospital. Yeah! <laughs> You'd think I learned my lesson, but no. On season two of Jackass, we decided that we wanted to ride the great hammerhead shark. And what gave us the impression that we could do that? We became bros with shark riding legend Manny Puig. So we went out to sea with Manny, and when the shark showed up, Chris and I dove into the water. But it wasn't exciting enough. So I got back on the boat and they strapped chopped in half fish all over me to swim with the sharks again. Still, some people say that's the dumbest thing I've ever done. My next shark encounter was for Jackass the movie. To prepare for it, I had to get scuba certified. And they had me do this scuba certification course for like three consecutive days. And I was on cocaine the whole time. Never slept a wink, and I didn't remember shit that they told me. So when we got to the dive in Japan, filled up our shorts with shrimp for these whale sharks to eat, we got in the water and the whale sharks were massive. It was beautiful. But then I had this thought. What if I couldn't breathe? And all of a sudden, that's all I could think. I can't breathe, I can't breathe. And like, even though they were the least scary sharks in existence, I had the scariest panic attack maybe of my life. Never told anybody that either. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. If we're going in chronological order, it's time for baby shark doo 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 doo. -doo. We took this little baby shark and clamped it on my arm. Ah! Stop! Great, I just got bitten by a shark. I don't think the footage was used for anything except maybe deleted scenes for Jackass the movie, but it did hurt. Get off of me, fucker. <laughs> No more messing around. You see, after Jackass the movie, of course, came Wild Boys. And our number one priority was to swim with the Great White Shark, which is why we filmed the pilot in South Africa. Well, MTV said that we were allowed to swim outside of the cage with Great White Sharks as long as we were with this professional expert named Andre Hartman. We got to South Africa and they told us that Andre Hartman canceled because he was going to film with some rich Japanese dudes. So we were like, no! And the night before the shoot, we're like at the bar saying, fuck swimming in a cage, no way. When the great white comes and hits the bait, we jump off the other side of the boat. We don't tell anybody, we jump off the other side of the boat and then we swim around and get in the cage. And this guy sitting next to us at the bar, he says, if the great white shark finds you swimming, he'll be curious and, and he'll, he'll take a bite, decide he doesn't like the way it tastes and swim off and then you bleed to death. The safest way to do what you're talking about doing is to jump on the shark. Because it's pointy nose with his eyes, he can't see any part of its body. If it feels anything, he'll freak out and he'll, he'll bolt. And that dude 
sitting next to us at the bar was Andre Hartman. So we got hammered with him. He fell in love with us. He canceled the Japanese dudes, and we went out on the boat to find the great white shark. I hear a shark already. The bird said shark. I love that. The shark comes up to the boat, and we jump off, landing in the water in between the shark and the cage. Got that cool underwater shot of us, like, coming through, like, with the shark right there. There it is, there it is! There it is. Oh, shark. Oh. And truthfully, we barely even got wet because we scrambled into that cage so fucking fast, we totally looked like pussies. And the shot wasn't even that dope, but it was pretty dope. And then, <laughs> then in Florida came the lemon shark. This is genuinely like probably the most dangerous one of them all. It is extremely dangerous and the teeth are incredibly sharp. We decided to hand feed the lemon sharks while standing in this water, which was precisely where some dude had had his whole calf bitten off on this anatomy of a shark bite show. So we're making fun of that dude getting bitten. But that guy was an idiot. <laughs> in the same spot that we're standing as we're hand feeding lemon sharks, which are totally fucking aggressive sharks ah, ah, <laughs> <took it. laughs> and then after the shoot they showed us what an actual lemon shark's jaws and teeth look like it's fucked up dude if i would have known this i would have never ever done that by the time we got to belize to swim with like a ton of caribbean reef sharks i didn't give a fuck i was like whatever i'm such a shark expert now it's like i don't even care There were so many of them, but that's all there really was to it. He knew our next shark shoot was going to be colorful. We called it shark surfing, where we strapped a bunch of meat to a surfboard, which I laid on, and silky sharks and dusky sharks fed on it. Well, this dusky shark that showed up was fucking massive. There's a big one. It was a legitimately tense moment. Vivo, do not fuck around right now. And when they said to get out of there, I fucking got out of there. Vivo, hurry up! Go, 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 go! Ah, get out of there! Vivo! Get out of there! Ah. Oh my god, you see what happened to your poor? Ah. And Manny's like, yo, you're fucking not going anywhere, shark! And he grabs it and rides off with it. This fucking huge thing. And it was a heavy day. A whale shark showed up right after that. Man, he was freaking out. He says, the wild boys kicked butt today. The wild boys kicked butt today. <laughs> yeah. And now the one we've all been waiting for, the fish hook. I'm sure you think you know the whole story, but you don't. Oh. For starters, I put that hook through my face twice because the first time I went on the boat, they brought a professional body piercer and they did it, right? There were some sharks and stuff, but a few days later, the director came to me and he said, hey dude, like I'm looking at the shark footage. I'm thinking like we could probably do way better if we had another day of filming. Plus, I would love it if we could reshoot that with Pontius putting it through your face instead. And they cast me out with the sharks. Manny's in there doing his thing, hacking up the fish. But then at the end of the second day, all of a sudden a mako shark shows up. And this is one you don't want to fuck around with. Of course, I don't really care because I'm ignorant and just paddling away. But Manny says, yo, Steve-o, watch out. And like, that scares me. So I'm like, yo, I'm out of here. And I go like make a jerking fucking motion and accidentally kick the fucking mako shark in the face while it was going for my foot. Like, that was hairy. Thank you so much, God. <laughs> you bastard. Then months, maybe years after that, I asked the Jackass director, Jeff Tremaine, like, what was the plan if I got bitten by the shark? I mean, we were like an hour's boat ride away from shore, and that was the shore of Louisiana less than a year after Hurricane Katrina. Like, everything was just shut down. And uh, Jeff said, we didn't have a plan, we got God. And Manny said, I totally would be dead. I would have bled out. If you hadn't kicked that make a shark in the head, you would have bled to death. When we were in Fiji, me and old international star Scott Randolph, we should do the dance. 
the shark dance. He and I swam with some bull sharks, which is pretty fucked up. There's not a lot more for me to do with sharks. I pretty much handled that. And uh, there is more for you to do with the like button. Like, fucking handle that. Handle it hard. <laughs> and, you know, if you don't already have my book, autographed copies at my website, you gotta have that. If you haven't seen me on tour with the Bucket List Tour, fuck, come on, dates to get there. And thank you guys for uh, being awesome. I had fun with this little shark video. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.